Most computers come with either a CD drive or a DVD drive. You may not realize that most computers can also copy files or burn files to CD or DVD. If your drive is labeled as a DVD-RW, multi-recorder, or a CD-RW drive, you can use it to burn a CD or a DVD. Windows makes it easy to burn a CD or a DVD. Suppose I want to burn all of these files to disk. Well, the first thing I'd want to do is make sure that I've got a writable CD or a DVD in my drive. After I do that, I just simply select all of the files I want to burn to the disk. I can use my mouse to draw a rectangle around all the files like this. Or I can hold down the control key on my keyboard as I select multiple files that I want to burn. There are many other ways to select files in Windows, all of which I cover in my book, Be the Geek. Once you've selected the files that you want to burn to disk, click the Burn button shown here if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7. If you're using Windows XP, you'll need to right-click on the files you've selected, point to Send To, and then choose your CD or DVD drive from the menu. I'm going to go ahead and click the Burn button. And notice when I do, I get this dialog. This is actually the contents of the DVD drive that's on my computer. And notice that these files that are ready to be written to the disk have a little downward facing arrow. That means that those files are ready to be written to the disk, but they're not currently on the disk. If I want to go ahead and complete the operation and burn those to my disk, I just click the Burn to Disk button. And when I do, Windows will ask me for a disk title. This disk title is used to identify the disk by Windows whenever it displays the contents of the disk. And you can pretty much enter anything that you want here. The recording speed is dictated not only by the drive that's on your computer, but also by the type of media that you have in the disk. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next now. And when I do, Windows will go ahead and prepare the files and burn those to the drive. And once the files have been successfully written to the disk, Windows ejects the disk automatically and now I'm ready to share that disk with someone else or store it away someplace so that I can access the files later. By the way, you can also copy a CD or a DVD by first copying the files on the existing disk to your hard drive and then burning those files from your hard drive to the other disk. Keep in mind, however, that this won't work for copy-protected disks such as movies. Copying files to a CD or a DVD is a convenient way to move large files or a large number of files between computers or to share a large number of files with friends or family. However, CDs and DVDs should not be considered a good choice for backing up files because they're easily damaged. Found out more information in my book, Be the Geek, the Computer Guide for the Rest of Us, and find more geek casts at www.bethegeekguide.com. Thanks for watching.